Alright guys, Jane Box Breaks is 7 or 7. We're breaking uh, cases 4 and 5. Bowman Hobby Draft as opposed to Super Jumbo, guys. It's going to go for tomorrow. I'm just trying to pace myself, guys. There's a lot of sorting. Uh, I'm still sorting the ones from the weekend since I wasn't here uh, after I did the break on Friday. So um, I'm trying to get it out to you as quick as possible. That's why I'm not posting a million at a time because it backs me up and you guys are going to be wondering where your mail's at. And too many PMs. But I will be posting more, guys. I know everyone's been bugging the shit out of me for it. It's like heroin to people. Something's going on, but everyone wants it. I have a lot. I'll keep posting. I know my, my prices are pretty cheap, so I got a lot, Jason. I got 21 total. So I appreciate it if you guys stop bugging me and PM me if I'm posting more. Yes, I got 21. I'll post a lot. <laughs> All right. Optic as well. I'm trying to fill Playbook first, though. So Optic comes out Wednesday. We'll post that. Playbook needs to fill. We're almost there. I get everything in. All right, guys. On that note, let's go ahead and start breaking. Your team's on the left. Thanks for joining. Thanks for filling. Let's have some good cases here. This is case four. You guys have the same team in case five. Makes life a little bit easier. Again, Super Jumbo's down to six or seven teams left already, guys. That's breaking tomorrow night, not tonight. You know the bills, because like I said, I got to get the sorting done. I'm not trying to just keep selling you guys stuff and make you wait three weeks for your mail. That's not how I do things. So, as much as I want to sell out of them. I don't want to uh, be backed up. I got to pace myself. <laughs> Chuck, I just post, man. I, I, I don't have certain times, dude. I, I, I can't. It's when Usually when fills, things fill, I post, man. The reason I told you this a million times. I post during the day because that way it fills and we can break it at night. That's like 99% of breakers do. And you are on during the day. I don't want to hear it. I see you commenting in rooms like kick ass and stuff during the daytime. So you're you're around. But unfortunately, man, it's just how I gotta do it. That way we can break it that night. If I post everything at night, it takes two days to fill it. I post during the day, it gets a head start. I try, Chuck, dude, on this stuff, man. Everyone, I have 80 people asking me to give them heads up. I, I can't even. I can't even remember everybody, dude. I'm not trying to be an asshole. <laughs> I don't ever post at 9 a.m., dude. I usually post in the afternoon. I usually post around lunchtime. Today, I posted at 4. The Super Jumbo. Unfortunately, everyone's got different schedules, man. It's, 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 I can't do it for certain people. It's not, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Just gotta post it when I have when I have time to post it. I got I got a schedule too. I got kids all day. I'm running around picking them up, dropping them off, and everything else. So <laughs> I just I post when I get a, a chance to post it. All right, guys, box one. Good luck. Again, guys, Chrome Base is shipping. A lot of people don't think they're getting that. You are getting all your Chrome Base. Just the paper base is not shipping. There are variations. They're all Chrome. So you'll get them if you get any. All right, guys, good luck. All right, we got Nate Pearson on the paper to 250 for the Blue Jays. And try and keep this Chrome and paper sorted now because it takes a while. All right, Simeon Richardson for the Mets. New York Mets. Uh, that's going to go to Chuck on the base auto. He was drafted 48th, 48th overall, so second rounder. All right, Jaron Kendall and Trammell on the refractors. Ready, Cody Deason, number 102, or 402, sorry. You got Ryan Weathers and Xavier Edwards. I was going to say San Diego. San Diego insert. Mason Danenberg and Cody Clemens on the refractors. All right, we got Travis Swaggerty on the insert. We got Tanner Dotson, Refractor, and Levi Kelly. Sixto Sanchez, 99 on green paper for the Phillies. Great pitcher, but apparently he's might be on a trade block, which kind of sucks. What are you going to do? Uh, I believe so, Chuck. Unless like Cody Clemens and them, usually if they were a, a ball player of another player, sometimes they are later draft. 
they do throw them in the product for some reason. All right, uh, let's go to the Blue Jays in that insert. Next up, Cody Clemens. Very nice out of four ninety nine. Like he was drafted seventy ninth overall, so he's third round. But that's Rogers' son. So Tigers. That's gonna go to Thomas. Tigers down. Mets down. Alan, you're needing my group, bud. If your team is not getting auto one one or relic in any full case, we do. Those teams all get put in the mini at the end of the break uh, for $30 break credit. So I give something back every break. Tavares and Jimenez on the refractors, as long as it's a full case. All right, Royals insert. We got uh, Jeter Downs and Pagan. But there has been fifth and sixth rounders in Bowman draft in other years. It's generally not, but like I said, like uh, Ripken, Ripken's nephew, Billy Ripken's son, he was like a six-rounder. He was in it. Tristan Cassis, Ryan Mountcastle, and Guzman on the refractors. I think he was fifth or sixth round. He was in this a couple years ago. He was selling high, too, because of it. Now he doesn't sell for shit. All right, Royals, number 250 on the refractor. Let's go to the White Sox. We got Cal Mitchell and Sheldon Nice. Fractors. All right, Ryan Weathers for San Diego. We got Earman and Libertari on the refractors. We got uh, Josh Nowler to 150 on the Chrome. It's going to go to Detroit on the insert. We got uh, Grant Levine, Joe Gray on the refractors. All right, Griffin Roberts, number to 402. We're going to go to the Rockies, Bubik and Hankins. I'm trying to keep this separated now. Make my life easier. All right, Nick Sandlin, number to 250 on the purple. Orioles insert. We got our Osias Johnson, six of Sanchez on the refractors. And my chat went away. Hold on, guys. Come on, don't start this shit tonight. Don't need it. Yes, it is Nick Foles time. It is. Dane Dunning to 499. It's amazing that just the feeling of watching that game. All right. Bowman Chrome draft pick of Ryan Weathers. Uh, somebody help me out with that. Is that Padres? Can't remember. Dane Dunning and Morhan on the refractors. But it is definitely Nick Foles' time in Philly. I'm excited. They played awesome last night. Their heart of the team came back. Somebody help me out. Is that Padres, guys? I'm almost positive it is, but I could be wrong. Okay, it is Padres. Where's my marker? All right, so let's go to Benny. Thank you. All right, so Padres are down. All right, guys, box two. I'll stay live for the other case, guys. I'll just have to uh, stop the video and put a new one. That's all. So it's separate on YouTube. Let's get playbook filled tonight, though. I want to get that over with so we can post uh, optic tomorrow. It's not the price of it, but I want to get that up for Wednesday. I only got five cases of optic, so that's all they'll give me. Optic football. Yeah, I'm doing my best to get the mail as quick as I can, guys, on this. Like I said, it's, it, I wasn't home all weekend, so it is time consuming. I'm trying to separate it now. It saves me a little bit of time. Throwing the paper. I literally have about one case sorted out of four so far. And a lot going on today with the kids. I couldn't get anything done. All right, guys. Box two. My hoodie off. It's getting hot in here. All right. This is going to be in Mariners. We got Diaz and Tejada on the refractors.
We got Blaine Enlow, number to 402 on the refractor. Reds, Ford Proctor, Nolan Gorman on the refractors. All right, we got uh, Ryan Weathers for the uh, insert. Stowers and Lindsey Delgado on the refractors. All right, on the Canary, we got uh, Tristan McKenzie. Those are not numbered. You can go to the Brew Crew. Eastman and Madigal on the refractors. Blue Paper, Chris Paddock, 499. Or Teal, whatever they call it. San Diego Padres. And next up, we have a Caden Griner, purple for the O's. That was 250. Going to Kyle. O's are cheap, guys. I'm putting them in 25 in every case, Super Jumbo and Jumbo, because nobody seems to want them. Uh, he was 37th overall, so still a first rounder. Baltimore's down. You got Medina on the refractor and Heliot Ramos refractor. Let's get that chrome. Damn, this is a pain trying to sort it now. I get in rhythm. All right, Casey Mize. We got Velotti and Witherspoon on the refractors. We got Travis Swaggerty, Brennan Davis, and Janesto on the refractors. Anyone excited for the football game tonight? There's no one good playing, right? Isn't it a shit game? We got Mitch Keller to 402. So we can go to the Royals on the insert. We got Grant Little and Griner on the refractors. Chuck, I got a root for Seattle to lose, so I can maybe get the wild card. And Nikki Lopez, 99 on the green. Royals, we got uh, Varva and Ashcraft on the refractors. Purple paper, Blake Rivera to 250. And we got a Grayson Rodriguez. Grayson Rodriguez. I don't know who that is. I know we said his name tonight on an insert. What team is he on, guys? Grayson Rodriguez. Where's he at? Saints and Panthers. Yeah, it's a poop game then. Nikki Lopez and Brandon Marsh on the refractors. Saints will probably win that game. Easily. I don't know. Everyone's saying that Cam Newton's going to step it up tonight. On Yesterday. I forgot that they were playing each other today. Orioles. Okay. Thanks, Thomas. Well, my Eagles suck, dude, but they, they're showing hard again, so we'll see. Going to Kyle. Tell you what, man, if they play like that for the rest of the season in the playoffs, watch out. So all I'm going to say is watch out. That's back to the old team all over again. With a bunch of freaking third and fourth stringers on our defense. It sucks. Orioles, we got Matt Sawyer and Nate Pearson, the refractors. So the only thing that's going to hurt us is our secondary. We've had 86 players, they said yesterday, start this year. And 13 in the secondary. That's ridiculous. That's the mo most in both categories in the uh, NFL. Out of 50, Jonathan India on the paper. It's going to go to the Cardinals. Next up, we have a Jared Kalenic. New York Mets. Going to Chuck. Which he was six overall. So that's their first rounder. That's their guy. I said Chuck. Lolo and Jesus Sanchez on the refractors. All right, guys, box number three. <coughs> Again, this beer with me in the shipping, guys, and I'm usually quick, but this is good. It's backing me up. trying to fill their brakes up too. All the notifications take me away from sorting. He's a mariner now. He got traded already. He just got drafted and got traded. Was he part of that deal for Wizards Space? The one I just made.
Guys, is there any teams that you think are way too low compared to other breakers filling it in terms of sale value? I haven't really looked on eBay. Like I said, I was busy all weekend. Um, I'm just trying to... There's a couple teams that don't seem to want to sell. Orioles, which I already lowered. Rangers. Nationals, yay or nay. Um, the other ones I comboed. I'm just trying to make it so we don't have to do any minis and we just snap fill this shit. Okay, yeah, there's no trade. These minis just hold shit up. I, mean, I know Tigers, everyone say I'm too low, but I'm not charging $149 for them. Like everybody else is. It's ridiculous. Clinic, we got Joey Wentz and Bo Bichette Refractors. I mean, they, they shouldn't be selling higher than the Cardinals. It's crazy. I'm just trying to make it so I don't do any minis. Grant Witherspoon at 250 on the purple. One of the Mets. Uh, Banfield and Rivera. That's why you've seen a couple price changes here and there. I'm just trying to make it as even as possible. Jake McCarthy to 499 for the D-backs. Casey Mize and Cody Clemens for Detroit. Next up, we have a Nick Schnell. Uh, 150 for the Rays. Blue parallel. Going to Michael. And he was 32nd overall, so he's a first-rounder. He's not their first, the, the main one. Though. They have two, I believe, in the first round in this. Tampa. Uh, Andrew, the reason I do randoms, dude, they don't fill my room, man. I, I, they take forever. I don't get it, but my room likes pick your team, dude. I've been doing this for over four years now, and I just that's, that's what fills, man. Every time I post a random, it takes forever. Neil Cruz and Matt Mercer. Then I'm running a ton of minis just to fill a random one. I mean, come on, we just filled a super jumbo almost. We got seven teams left within 10 minutes. If I would have done it as a random, it would have sat. Alec Baum on the insert, Sam Carlson and Avila. I'd rather do random sometimes, to be honest with you. It just makes my life easier. I don't have to figure out pricing, but they just don't move, dude. I wish. I'll do it. I'd rather do a divisional, to be honest with you. We got Cole Wayne and Libatory. We got, uh,. Butler and Kelly, yeah, Kelly, whatever his name is. But to be honest with you, I mean, if you do a random on this, what is it, 60-something a spot? Most of the teams aren't even that much. So why even why even bother? That's why they don't move. We got Mackenzie Gore to 402. It's not like I'm having a hard time selling the Cardinals and, you know, whatever. Yankees. We got Singler and Bellow. I mean, the, the top teams are selling. They're the first teams taken. If I, if they weren't, then I would be doing. I'd try rain them, but I'm not having an issue selling them. Tristan Casas to 150, and we're selling. I mean, they're not. The cases are selling out pretty good. We just keep getting left with three or four teams every case. It's driving me nuts. Finally, for the Phillies, Alec Baum, very nice. Going to Nigel, just a base auto though. That's our first of him. Looks like he signed with a fine tip. Very nice, bud. Phillies down. You got uh, Thomas Ponticelli and Alex McKenna. He was the third overall draft pick in the product. Indian, or sorry, going to the Yankees in that one. We got Cody Deason and Mark Vientos in the refractors. I want to say random sucks. Random sucks when it's good when you have a bunch of teams over the spot price. Most of the teams in this are under it, though. Cole Wynn, got Madigal and uh, Pickleton, whatever his name is. Adam Hill and Logan Gilbert and Refractors. India, we got Aidman and Decker on the crew, or Refractors. All right, so we go to Texas. Next up, we got a Brady Brady Singer, 18th overall, and the Gold Shimmer for the Royals out of 50. Nice hit. Kansas City. Let's go get a Patrick. So we can get the Brady Singer Gold Shimmer or Gold Wave, whatever they're called. Change it every time. Kansas City's down. Get a uh, Calvin Coker and Keeper Ruiz and Refractors. We got Tejeda, number 49 on the paper. Uh, 
Mets. We got Matt Verling and Drew Ellison refractors. All right, that's it for box three. Box four. Matt, how are you joining when you're at a wedding? Why aren't you enjoying the open bar, buddy? Get an orange auto with somebody. We didn't we haven't gotten any yet. Had to pull a damn super tonight too. See orange, but I think it's orange paper. Alright guys, good luck. Box four. Alright, Grayson Rodriguez, Lolo Sanchez, and Jesus Sanchez refractors. We got uh, Alex McKenna to 250 on the purple. Royals insert. We got Diaz and Tejada on the refractors. All right, Luke and Baker to 402 on the light blue. D-backs, Ponticelli and McKenna on the refractors. Uh, Grace Rodriguez, Decent, and Bello refractors. All right, uh, for the Mets. Next up, we got a uh, Josh Braille, 61st overall, second rounder, green auto, going to Matt out of 99. So we're getting some more color. It's a good sign. We just need to get him with the big guys here. Yanks down. Adam Hill and Logan Gilbert on the refractors. Yeah, there's been a lot more color in this for sure. Orioles, we got Aidman and Nick Decker refractors. Just want to get the color of the big dudes, man. That's that's what that's what we're lacking. We're hitting them. We're just not getting the color of them. A lot of base holders and refractors of them. Nolan Gorman's can go to uh, Brady Singer and Vientos refractors. Blue paper of Corbin Martin, number two, uh, 150 for the Strohs. White Sox. Next up, very nice, Casey Mize. See, like we get getting base holders of the big dudes. Detroit. Going to Thomas. First overall pick in the draft. Very nice. We got Joey Wentz and Bo Bichette, refractors. Got a uh, Manigal, Banfield, and Rivera on the refractors. Current paper separation. All right, Jaron Kendall in the sky blue to 402. It's going to go to the Orioles. We got O'Neill Cruz and Matt Mercer refractors. Area of Alfonso Rebus. Again, these are not numbered guys, so those are autos. Mets, Sam Carlson, and Avila on the refractors. All right, orange, pa orange paper, 21 and 25, Nico Horner for the Cubbies. That's their first guy, right? 24th overall, yeah. Uh, no, Dan, no, Levine, no. 
Next up, we have a Grayson Janesta for the Braves. A brave strike going to Benny. She was 49th overall, so second rounder. So Braves are down. Lawrence Butler and Kanellick on the refractors. All right, guys, on to box number five. Drink. No, Jesse, no shots for any player, dude. It's just an Atani thing, man. I will after he's done, man, I'm this year, I'm done with it. I'll try and think of something else fun to do. I actually got in a lot of trouble for doing that with my kids here on when I went to my court hearing for divorce. <laughs> Which is really stupid. One shot I didn't gonna get me drunk, but apparently it was irresponsible to be doing I guess. I know parents that drink all day with their kids and to me, that's irresponsible. But taking a shot is not irresponsible. No, I'm not finished. Uh, the bottle's already finished, Dylan. The, of the vodka, we're doing shots. So we already we finished it last. Last two, I've had to do rum and coke shots. School teacher Jesse doesn't matter. It's just It's just what the court said, not to be doing that. I was like, that's ridiculous. You can't tell me I'm, I can't drink. All right, Casey Myers Refractory. Calvin Coker and Kiebert Ruiz. I was like, do they ever, like, go to, like, family parties where, like, the parents are drinking and the kids are playing? I'm sure they do it themselves. My ex don't drink no more, so she made a big deal about it. It's ridiculous. She still does. She just says she doesn't. All right, Lindsey Delgado, 99 on the green. Uh... Going to Texas, we got Verling and Drew Ellis in the refractors. All right, Daniel Lynch to 49 on the paper. Padres insert. All righty, we got a Cyrus Johnson, 53rd overall, Marlins. Going to Andrew. What saves me money, Jesse? What are you talking about? Marlins do. <clears throat> I don't really go out, man. Earman and Libertori. I mean, I'm basically live every night. That's why I, I do take some time off sometimes, guys. Like, I need to. I need a break. So you guys get your days off for work. I gotta get my days. Casey Mize, uh, Levine, and Joe Gray on the refractors. I don't take off very often. Like I'll be I'll be around all weekend, guys. So I got my kids this weekend, so I'll be here. Four hundred to two fifty. We just have to break a little bit later. Uh, Reds insert Dane Dunning and Morhan. I wouldn't say not not drinking saves you money, Jesse. Because people that don't drink have a, have a, do something else. They spend that money on. They might have an eating habit. They might have a smoking habit. They might have. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. Ha everybody has something they do. Ryan Weathers. We got Cal Mitchell and Noose. It's not like I get drunk. Like I I have a drink here and there. I go out sometimes and drink. I used to go out all the time and drink when I first came to Salem again. I just don't do it no more. Michael Baz at 499. Detroit. Next up, we have a Tanner Dotson, 71st overall, Tampa. Going to Michael. Yeah, baseball cards. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, dude. Everybody everybody has a thing they spend money on. Yeah, I buy alcohol. I'm not sitting here getting trashed every night. There's people that do. I don't know how they wake up every day and go to work and live life, but... Hey, more power to him. I can't do it. I ain't 21 any, anymore. <laughs> Denenberg, Cody Clemens. It's been 14 years since I've been able to do that. We got uh, Logan Gilbert and Josh Stowers. Dotson and Le Levi Kelly. It's Levi Kelly. 
I can't function like that. All right, going to the Yankees. We got Jerry and Kendall and Trammell. Refractors. Come on, Chrome. Start separating for me. All right, we got Josh Naylor to 402 on the Sky Blue. We got uh, Royals, Mountcastle, and Go Guzman on the Chrome. Purple paper of Jamani Jones, a 250 for the Angels. Next up, we got a Jeremy Earman, refractor auto out of 484, Oakland. It's a combo spot now. Who do I put them with? Going to Chuck. He was uh, 70th overall. So probably third round. Bubik and Hankins on the refractors. All right, we got uh, going to Texas on that one. Tyus Johnson, Sixto Sanchez on the refractors. And that was the paper from before. Okay. All right, guys, moving on to box number six. Why would the Eagles make you drink all day, dude? The Eagles, I mean, if I were a Vikings fan, I would drink all day. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. My team still has heart, and that's going to take us somewhere in these next two games. We beat we beat the Texans, and Dallas loses again. Uh, the Redskins will give us the last game. They don't want Dallas winning that the division. They'd rather us win a division. The Giants aren't going to aren't going to sit back and let the the Dallas beat them. The Giants are going to come at them hard. We have a good shot. We have a really good shot at at winning the division now with that win loss yesterday. I mean. If we can beat the Rams, we can beat the Texans. The Texans really aren't even that good of a team. They just squeak by with wins this year somehow. They're really not that good. And like I said, the Redskins, and we're playing the Texans at home too on Sunday, which helps us out. But the Redskins, if it comes down to us or the Cowboys, they're going to they're gonna let us win. If they have no shot, because they're in the running too. I mean, they can still win a division. So it could come down to a hard game with them too. I, I I don't I honestly can't tell you. Hey man, I was excited that game last night. At the end though, I was biting my nails. I thought we were gonna lose that game. I was so pissed off. But I had that feeling I had last year when Foles came in and we started winning again. Or still I should say, not again. We were kicking ass last year. Uh, Rays. Next up for KC, we got Brady Singer. Blue auto out of 150, so we're getting a lot more color. Uh, going to Patrick. It's the same teams hitting over and over. Uh, Matt, you hit something for uh, the Yankees, but I don't think it was anything great. Alex Baum and Ryder Green. Brady Singer, we got Tavares and Jimenez in the refractors. All right, Canary of Tavares. Let's go to the Rockies. Jeter Downs and Pagan on the refractors. All right, Ryder Green, 499 on the paper for the Yankees. Next up, we got a Tim Kate for Washington. Going to Matt. There's a hit for you. Base auto, though. It wasn't a good. It wasn't a good Yankee, there was it? Josh. It was Josh Brow. He was 61st overall. That's not their main guy, though. The Yankees sell, so. All right, Royce Lewis and Roeder. Okay, I'm, I'm still learning these guys. I, I can't tell you shit about them. Yeah, Matt's going to say Matt was on when I hit that. Got uh, Griffin Conine, uh, Feltman, and Jimenez in refractors. 
Ethan Hankins, 99 on the paper. Detroit. Next up, we got a Griffin Roberts, 43rd overall. Purple for the Cardinals at 250. Going to Dylan. Not the dude you want it. But we'll take it. So, St. Louis is down. Uh, Tarang and Tyler Frank. Well, of course she wants to take a picture at the wedding. Enjoy it, man. Have the open bar and have fun. I haven't been to a wedding in so long. Mets. We got Dylan Cease and Tristan Cassis. Adam Hill at a 402. White Sox, Thad Ward, and Shed Long. All my close friends either aren't married yet or all the ones I was close with I lost. <laughs> either getting divorced or being married. So they all they all got married. I'm getting invited. India, Salak, and Devin Mann, even though most of them were at my damn wedding. That's supposed to be code of rule. If you invite them to your wedding, they invite you to their wedding. But people don't follow that. Not even your own family members. <laughs> Nick Schnell out of 402. You got a Madigal, Mackenzie, and Nick Gordon are refractors. You got Adam Hill to 150. Yankees insert. You know what's crazy is we pull a super auto on this, guys. We won't know until we flip the card over because this year they had the cards up backwards. Mata and Stever. I just realized that. They're all back. All the autos are backwards. It's never backwards in Bowman. That's what I can recall. I mean, it helps out so you don't miss any. Alec Baum. Jake Wong and Kiboom on the refractors. All right, two left in this case, guys. Not a bad case, but we could do better. Good for color, but it's not the guys we want. You said you want to be on the couch. I want to be on the couch too, man, but I'll be sitting in this seat all night sorting your Bowman. Not these two cases. Gotta get caught up on the first four. I was good. I planned on. I was home last night. I came home. I was planning on sorting, but then after Dallas lost, I was like, shit, I got to watch this game now. And then since it was such a good game, I couldn't get off the couch. I had to watch it. Because I wasn't planning on really caring. But then when Dallas lost, I was like, shit, I got to watch now. I don't have a choice. I was just going to listen to it as I sort it, but. I couldn't not watch it. It's too good of a game. <coughs> you got a really nice couch. My couch is alright. It's comfortable. It's big sectional. I still need a couch upstairs in my actual living room. I, basically, we live in our basement. That's where all my work is, so I gotta be down. I'm down here 24 7, so that's where my couch is. And I gotta get another couch for upstairs. Just because it looks stupid having an empty living room upstairs, a TV, and a bunch of toys everywhere. I want to say it was a blowout, Chuck. It, it was a good game, dude. They, they came back. It was it, it was now biting, man. Madigal, we got Bryce Trang and Tyler Frank. We, we could have lost it, man. Really could have. Canary of Trang. So we can go to the Rays. Jake Wong and Keter Kaboom. I thought we were going to. Yep, and Patriots lost. I didn't watch that game, though. Sipe the 499. I watched the last five minutes of it. When I got home, I watched the last five minutes. Next up, we got a Connor Scott for the Marlins. Going to Andrew. Sorry, that was a Reds insert. I forgot to say that. Kenzie and Nick Gordon on the refractors. Nick Schnell at a 150 on the blue. Detroit, Nicky Lopez and Brandon Marsh refractors. But yeah, I was happy that the Steelers beat the Patriots. I heard that game was bullshit calls though. 
That was a good thing about the Eagles game last night. There was no bullshit calls. They actually just let them play. And see what happens? They let the Eagles play. They actually win. Singer, Sawyer, and Pearson. I'm telling you, that Dallas game, that, that was the worst officiating I've seen in any game this whole year. And Dallas fans are like, oh, it was on both sides. It was not on both sides. The Eagles got screwed first five seconds of the game when that fumble. It would have changed the whole game. Uh, Velody to 49. When you're playing a team, your your rival like that, it would change the whole appearance of the whole game. Really would have. Uh, let's go to the Brewers. Next up, we got Matthew Libatori for the Rays. Going to Michael. Uh, 16th overall, so that's their first rounder. Did they? I, Matt, I'm just telling you what people said were right on the internet. I, I didn't watch the game, so I couldn't tell you. Proctor, Nolan Gorman. That, but that cat, that Cowboy Eagles game was was probably the worst officiating I've seen. Just those two calls: the offensive interference touchdown that we got towards the end, and uh, which would have changed the outlook of going to out probably overtime. Yankees, Josh Stowers, and Delgado, and that first call of the game with that fumble it made no sense, no sense whatsoever. Uh, Kalenic, we got Brian Mata and Stiver on the. Refractors. And I'm not being biased because it's my team. They were clear bullshit calls. Like they were the worst calls I've ever seen in my life. But yesterday the Rams game, there was no bad calls. There really wasn't. Nothing that I could point out. Bubik, we got Medina and Roder. Even if we would have lost, I would have been like, wow, they officiated this game a lot better than the Dallas game. It's like I said, that, that Dallas game, we got we got screwed. That and that hurt us too. We needed that win. If we had that win, it have been a whole different outcome these last three games. The division. Sucks. What are you going to do, though? All right, Josh Bray out at 402. Mariners, Velody, and Witherspoon. I mean, there's a couple games this year that he screwed us on. Kalenic to 250 on the purple paper. Nothing you can do. All right, next up we have a Grant Levine. There he is, whoever asked for him. It's a blue wave out of 150 for the Rockies. Going to Jonathan. Yeah, only football game I watched yesterday was the Eagles in the last five minutes the, the Steelers and uh, what should we call it? Because I went to see that movie, that the, the Mule movie yesterday. It was pretty good. If you guys are into like drug smuggling shit, it was. It really wasn't too much. I mean, I thought it was gonna be more intense. Grant Little, Griner, but. He's too old to play like a an action packed actor now. He's he's getting old. Uh, Madigal, we got Var Vavra and Ashcraft on the refractors. Clint, Clint Eastwood seen he, this is probably his last movie, I would say. Sad to say that, but he is ninety years old. All right, guys, last box. But he um dude, he had some he had some funny jokes like. Just you have to literally listen to him because he's getting old. But the shit that rolled off his tongue a couple times were funny. Especially the dikes on bikes. When you, if you guys see it and you see that part, you're gonna be dying. It was so funny. I want to see that stupid Will Ferrell movie coming out on Christmas. Well, Dan, you'll have to hit up um, Jonathan Morrell. He hit it. What's up, Kyle? Yeah, there was uh, two Orioles, bud. You actually got two Orioles. I'll do a recap. Just remind me to do it if I forget. Because I always forget. But I won't be signing off, so. One was Griner and the other was the other dude. The redemption. I believe one was gone. Got Ozen Super Jumbo, buddy. Unless someone took them already. I lowered them a lot. People are charging more for them. It's just they weren't selling, so I got rid of it. I just lowered them. So we don't have to do minis. Trying to avoid doing minis, period. Just take up too much of my time. 
All right, uh, Madigal, we got Pavin Smith and Swarhan. I understand sometimes you're going to have to do them, but sometimes half a case is just, this playbook. It's killing me right now. I thought we'd fill that up right now. I mean, half a case sucks. All right, we got uh, Goddard, the 402. Orioles insert, Dallas uh, Wolfolk and Abreu on the fractures. We got Justin Jarvis, the 49 on the paper. Yeah, I don't know if they're going yet or not, Kyle. There's, I got like 19 notifications. I don't know what they are, so I don't know if someone took them or not. All right, Ryan Rawlison for the Rockies. Straight again, going to Jonathan. 22nd overall. Who is Levine? 42nd. So this was their top dude. I don't know if he sells higher, but that's their top pick. Cortese and Juwan Harris and Refractors. Uh, Brewers, we got Tim Kate and Ryan Jeffers. All right, that's all she wrote for this case, guys. Very team heavy. Seems like all the cases are team heavy, to be honest with you. Oh, shit, that's not all she wrote. That's all this pile. What the fuck am I talking about? Sorry, guys. This is all the paper I just threw on top. That's why I hate trying to sort in the middle of doing a break because then things get mixed up. My fault. <laughs> just say, that doesn't seem right. Alex Baum, Weimer, Thias on the refractors. I'm going to keep it away from the pile. There's no orange or gold auto. Oh, no, we did get a gold auto. All right, Corey Holland, a 50 for the Indians. Uh, Royals, Ryan Miller and Alex Fado. I will do a recap, bud. All right, Tristan Cassis, out of 250 on the paper. All right, for the Mets, Carlos Cortez, 83rd overall. Going to Chuck. It's the most that we've had, uh, or Cortez, sorry, not Cortez. It's the most Mets we've had in the case. Finally started hitting. All right, Hannah and Enloe, refractors. You got Trisha and Cassis, Delgado, and Griffin Roberts, refractors. All right, Hunter Green to 250 on the purple. Padres. We got Josh Naylor and Iris Aaron. All right, we got Swaggerty, Kirloff, and Burroughs on the refractors. All right, Madigal to 150 on the paper. Kansas City. We got Carlos Cortez again. Refractor auto. On the Chuck out of 499. That's probably it. That should be our last auto. Isabel and Owen White. And we'll move on to case five. Royals. We got Richardson and Luke and Baker on the refractors. All right, let's do a $30 credit, guys, and teams didn't hit, and then recap, and then let me clear my desk. We'll do case five. All right, take through my screen. No, what am I doing? I'm not doing that kind of list. Uh, dice roller. All right, so teams didn't hit. We got D backs, Red Sox. White Sox, uh, Cubs, Reds and Giants combo, Indians, Angels, Brewers, come on, can't spell, uh, Twins, Pirates, Mariners, Rangers, Blue Jays. Rangers at the lower again. No one's buying them either. Blue Jays, Rangers, Mariners, Pirates, Twins, Brewers, Angels, Indians, Reds, Cubs, White Sox, Red Sox, and D-backs. Guys, anything higher than four, four lower to every roll. Keep rolling threes. All right, eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we go to the Indians. So Matt, you get thirty dollars break credit. Let me know when you want to use it, buddy. I think you had them, right? Yeah. All right, let's do a quick recap and then move on to case five. All right. We had a uh, Cortez for the Mets at a 499. Cortez base for the Mets. Rollison base for the Rockies. Grant Levine to 150 on the Blue Wave for the Rockies. Uh, Libertori for the Rays. Connor Scott for the Marlins. Griffin Roberts out of 250 purple for St. Louis. Tim Kate for Washington. Brady Singer on the blue out of 150 for Kansas City. Earman for Oakland out of 484 on the refractor. Tanner Dotson for the Rays. We have uh, Osiris Johnson for the Marlins. Uh, Janesta for the Braves. Casey Mize for the Tigers. Josh Brow for the Yankees out of 99 on the green. Brady Singer out of 50 on the gold shimmer for, or gold wave for Kansas City. Alec Baum for the Phillies. We have Nick Schnell out of 150 for Tampa Bay. Jared uh, Kelnick for the uh, Mets. For the Orioles, we had a Grayson Rodriguez. A Caden Griner for the Orioles out of 250 on the purple. We had Ryan Weathers for the Padres. Cody Clemens out of 499 for the Tigers. And a Simon Richardson for the Mets. So most hits were the Mets in that one. All right, guys, let me clear my desk, and then we'll move on to case five. So give me a minute here. <laughs> 